Ciao friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by today. We are going to make a solid colored sunburst granny square. It's really, really easy, I promise. You won't have any troubles with this. Because you can go with solid colors, and I've also done one here where I've used two colors, and this one where I just go crazy and use all the colors. But we're gonna just concentrate on a solid colored one today, and we'll get to those other kinds later. So first it's all about getting down our stitches and then we can change colors later. So I'm going to use, uh, feels like butter, I think this is dusty pink, yes. Lion Brands feels like butter. This stuff is awesome, it's so squishy. And a five millimeter hook. So let's get started, it's really simple, I promise. You make these pretty darn fast too, it's great. We're going to start with a magic circle. If you're not familiar with the magic circle, I have a two, two or three minute tutorial on how to do it this super easy way. And now we want to chain two. And into our magic circle, we are going to put in 16 double crochets. And I am going to mark the first one. In our magic circle, we need 16. I made one. There's two, three, 15, and 16. And now we can tighten up our circle. So again, that was a chain two and then an additional 16 double crochets. That chain two is not counting as a stitch. So now we have our circle. We're going to slip stitch into our marked stitch. That was round one. Now we have a perfect little circle. So the next round, we just made this part right here. The next round here is puffs all the way around. So we're just going to chain one and then we are going to do yarn over puffs three yarn overs. So we're going to yarn over, pull through, and pull up, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull up. Do that three times. End up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on your hook. And now yarn over, pull through, and chain one to close. We're going to do one of those in every stitch, so we'll end up with 16 puffs. So it's a three yarn over puff. One, two, three, yarn over, pull through everything, and a chain one to close. So do that all the way back over. And here's my last puff. And round two. Round two is done. Now since I do not like seams, we are going to jump over here in between the first and second puff and do a slip stitch to bring everything nice and close together. I really don't like seams and this is the way that I've found gets rid of the seams the best. So that's round two. Easy peasy. We're already done with round two and there's only five rounds in the whole thing anyway, so we're almost done. So chain one and now we're going to do, uh, some people call it bobble stitch. I've always known it to be called a double crochet cluster, but well, however you want to call it, this is a four double crochet cluster. So in the same stitch right here, right underneath our chain one, we're going to do a four double crochet cluster. So it's a yarn over, go through our stitch in between the puffs. Pull through two, but don't finish that stitch. That was the first double crochet in our cluster. Now yarn over and do that again. Pull up, pull through two. There's the second one. Yarn over, same in the same chain space. Go through two, and one more time, pull through two. With five loops on our hook, now we're gonna yarn over, and pull through everything. 
chain one to close and chain one more. So let's do that again. All the way around. So in between our puffs, right here, going to chain, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over again, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and one more time. So this is a four double crochet cluster. Again, I have five loops on my hook, pull through, and chain one to close, and chain one more. So it's a chain two after every cluster. So we do that all the way around. my very last one here and it's in between these two last little puffs. Don't forget about this little guy right here. You can always count your puffs or your clusters all the way around. You should again have 16 with the two chains in between each one. And there's my last puff. And pull through both and there's a chain two. And we're going to jump across again, not in here, right in here on the other side of our very first puff and do a slip stitch. Pulls everything together nice and close. Almost done. Just did this round right here. Now we're going to make a corner. So the next round we'll turn this circle into a square or we'll start making it into a square. So we're going to start in a corner right in here. For this round, my chains are actually going to count as a stitch. So we got one, two, three, four for my first triple crochet. So yarn over twice and put in another triple crochet. Two, three, and one more. So we have a set of three triple crochets. The first one was a chain four, and then there's two more. Now we'll chain three in between. We're going to do another one just like that. So three triple crochets in that same stitch we're making a corner. There we go, we made a corner. Jump over to this next chain space on the other side of this cluster right there in between. We're going to put in three double crochets. One, two, three. Go to the next space and that's three half double crochets. One, two, and three. And then the next one is three double crochets. One, two, three. So then we've done one side. We're going to make another corner right here. So right in the next chain space that you can find. We already worked this one so we're going to jump across this cluster. Three triple crochets. One, two, and three. chain three and three more triple crochets all in the same space so we get our nice corner. So there we go, corner number one, corner number two. Just continue that sequence all the way around. All the way around. The next one is three double crochet, then the next one is three half double crochet, three double crochet, corner. all the way around and make sure you have four distinct corners. And here's my last set of three double crochets. There we go. We got a great little square. We're going to have one more round to make it a little bit bigger. But to finish off this round, pulling everything together, we are going to slip stitch into the top of our chain. One, 
two, three, into the fourth chain from our chain four at the very beginning. Slip stitch. All right, and the way that I finish off this round is right here, right below where we just did a slip stitch is where we're going to start working. So we're going to chain two, this will count as a stitch, and then two double crochets into this space right underneath us. One and two. So technically that's three. Our chain two counts and two more double crochets. Now we're going to work in the corner and the corners are three double crochet chain three and another set of three double crochets. So that's what every corner is. Three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. So there's a corner and there's a cluster. In between all of these clusters all the way around we want to put in three double crochet to even this out a little bit, make our square just a little smidge bigger. There's the first one, and over to here. In between the half double and the doubles. And right here, in between the doubles and the triples. And we get to the corner. Corner is three double crochet, three chains, and three double crochet in this same space. All the way around. That's our sequence. And here will be my last cluster of three double crochet. Now to bring these together, there's a cluster here, there's a cluster here. You can finish this off different ways. Just do a slip stitch in here and finish off like normal. Or you can cut this off. I like finishing it this way because it looks prettier. This looks like a stitch. So we're going to make a stitch. Pull this through. We're going to go into the stitch that we want to finish off in, pull from the back to the front, and now we want to go through our very last stitch over here, through the back loop, pull this through, and now we've made a stitch instead of a knot. I don't like knots and seams if I can avoid it, so I've tried, tried, and tried, and that's what I came up with. And we just weave him in anywhere you want to. Pull this nice and tight. Weave in your ends. But I finished this off with this little stitch instead. And so here I finish off with a knot and it's very noticeable, I think. But once you have everything stitched together, if you're making a blanket or a bag or anything, it probably wouldn't show too much. But on this one, I made a stitch. You can see right here, no big knot. Same spot, but no knot. And I love it. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks. Tell all your friends about me and stop back real soon. <laughs>